morning. We would like to brief you on the content of the legislation adopted during the week as part of the draft law on the legislation in the Ministry of Justice. Amendments were made to the government resolution on measures to introduce new models of national driving licenses and motor vehicles registration certificates. All driver's licenses and vehicle registration certificates must be replaced with new ones within the following periods, issued before 2010 until March 31, 2022, issued in 2010-2012 until June 30, 2022, issued in 2013-2015 until September 30, 2022, issued after 2015 until December 31, 2022. Previously, replacement was mandatory until December 31, 2021. Certificates that have not been replaced before the above deadlines are considered invalid. The Presidential Decree on Improving E-Commerce, Administration and Creating Favorable Conditions for its further development was adopted. From July 1, 2022, the open digital ecosystem of e-commerce will be fully launched. The Center for Electronic Cooperation portal will be reorganized into the Center for Digital Transformation. The Center performs the functions of shaping the digital ecosystem and its operator. Information on the sale of goods and services will be posted on e-commerce platforms integrated into the digital ecosystem. Until January 1, 2024, the profit tax rate for operators of e-commerce platforms integrated into the digital ecosystem will be reduced by 50%. In connection with the improvement of the anti-corruption system of the Republic of Uzbekistan, the law on amendments and addenda to certain legislative acts of the Republic of Uzbekistan was signed by the President. The Anti-Corruption Agency annually submits a national anti-corruption report to the Ali Majlis. Relatives of those who report corruption offenses are now protected by the state. The government has approved a regulation on the procedure for calculating the average grade of graduates of educational institutions in its consideration in the entrance exams to higher education institutions. According to the statute, the last six years of 11 years of education in the certificate of school graduates are added to the entrance score to the university. Grades are calculated through electronic platforms and sent to the program State Testing Center Abitur. The average grade point average is calculated by dividing the total sum of the annual grades in grades 611 or grades 69 and grades 1-2 by the subject's touch. The maximum score is taken as 100% and the points are transferred to the rating system as follows. For 86, 100%, 5. 71, 85%, 4. 56, 70%, 3. And up to 56%, 2. This procedure applies from the academic year 2022-2023. The government has approved an administrative regulation on the provision of public services for the treatment of the elderly and people with disabilities in sanatoriums. According to the administrative regulations from July 1, 2022, the elderly and people with disabilities will be referred for treatment in sanatoriums only through the public services centers or single portal of interactive government services, my.gov.us. Vouchers are issued to the following categories of the elderly and people with disabilities. Persons equated to war invalids and participants, unmarried widows to widowers of deceased servicemen, persons receiving personal pensions of Republican significance, persons who suffered from and experienced radiation sickness as a result of the Chernobyl NPP disaster, as well as persons who became disabled as a result of Chernobyl disaster, persons of retirement age who have served in the military at nuclear test sites and other radiation nuclear facilities, persons with group 1 and 2 disabilities, a person caring for a group 1 disabled person, lonely elderly people in need of care, old age pensioners. No fee is charged for the provision of public services. Vouchers are issued to the elderly and people with disabilities for 12 days, 10 days before the expiration of the vouchers, except for vouchers returned for valid reasons. Referrals are valid only for the period specified in them. Do not be admitted to the sanatorium before the deadline specified in the referral, and the days of late arrival at the sanatorium will not be restored. The referral can only be used by the person specified in it. No more than one person, including young children, will be accepted with a single pass. According to the decision, the platform electronic sanatorium will also be developed. In this case, 
The population applying for a ticket to the sanatorium is registered through an electronic information system. Mechanisms will be introduced to enable tracking of queues. The government resolution approved the regulation on the admission of graduates of the Legal College of the Ministry of Justice to higher education institutions in the field of jurisprudence. According to the regulation, the territorial bodies of justice set up a commission to consider the issue of issuing vouchers to graduates of law schools by June 10 each year. Graduates will apply to the commission through the online platform until June 20 to receive a voucher. Applications will be considered from June 20 to June 30 on the following basic requirements. A rating of 71 or higher in each subject, 85 or higher for part-time of distance learning, have a certificate confirming knowledge of a foreign language B2 and above, active participation in spiritual and educational public wars, projects and competitions, personal achievements, must follow internal rules, rules of etiquette. Those who receive a ticket will send their documents online to the university on 5-25. Individual interviews with the recipients will be held on August 10-25. The conversation will identify and assess the essence of reforms in the country, motivation in choosing a specialty, personal and professional characteristics, legal knowledge. The results of the interview will be sent to the relevant university for admission by August 30. Government resolution approves the regulation on the procedure for maintaining a single database of crimes in the field of human trafficking. A single database of crimes in the field of human trafficking is maintained by the Operational Search Department of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. The following information is entered into the database. Persons involved in human trafficking, victims of human trafficking, alleged victims, the results of assistance provided to women and children with separate information, methods of crime and other information, sends a written or electronic request to the Operational Search Department and its regional offices for use by the competent authorities in the fight against human trafficking. The response will be sent within five days of receiving the survey. Thank you for your attention. You can get acquainted with the full text of these documents on the website lakes.us as well as news on the legislation on the Telegram channel of the Ministry of Justice Legal Information. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.